Is it time to buy or sell quantum computing stock? In this video, we will explore quantum computing in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, the 15th of May, 2025. And now we are here to offer you a more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay informed about our latest insights. You certainly do not want to miss any significant updates that could influence your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analyses for any one among 45,000 companies worldwide today. Please remember that this video is intended for informational purposes only and should not be regarded as financial advice. Since the 8th of May, 2025, our system has ranked quantum computing as a strong buy candidate, awarding it a score of 6.06. .06. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has experienced a gain of 9.48%. This equates to an average return of 1.58% per day since it was designated as a strong buy candidate. The stock currently resides in the upper section of a very wide and robust rising trend in the short term. This position may present an excellent selling opportunity for short-term traders as a reaction back towards the lower part of the trend is anticipated. A breakout above the upper trend line at $9.63 will initially indicate a stronger rate of ascent. The current three-month trend indicates a potential change of approximately 17.8% over the upcoming three months, with possible returns ranging between negative 28.08% and positive 22.81%. Shifting our focus to the longer term, our 12-month analysis projects a change of 58.75%. Based on our calculations, the stock's performance could fluctuate between 13.86% and 418.22% over the next year. In current terms, this implies a future price that could fall between $10.52 and $47.88. Our latest daily update for quantum computing includes the headline, Quantum Computing Incorporated Stock Upgraded from Buy Candidate to Strong Buy Candidate Following Thursday's Trading Session. The stock price of Quantum Computing Incorporated increased by 3.47% on the last trading day, which was Thursday, the 15th of May, 2025. It rose from $8.93 to $9.24. During that trading day, the stock fluctuated 6.24%, reaching a low of $8.74 and a high of $9.29. The price has increased in six out of the last 10 days, and is up by 31.62% over the past two weeks. It is important to note that volume decreased by 3 million shares on the last day, with a total of 19 million shares exchanged, amounting to approximately $171.69 million. This decline in volume, while prices are rising, may indicate potential changes in the coming days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price reached was $27.15 while the lowest was 35.5 cents. Currently, the price is 65.97%, or $17.91, below the 52-week high of $27.15, which also represents the all-time high for the stock. Quantum Computing Incorporated reported its first quarter 2025 financial results, highlighting significant developments that could influence stock performance both in the short and long term. The company hosted its earnings call on the 15th of May, demonstrating transparency and engagement with investors during a crucial period. Notably, Quantum Computing celebrated the grand opening of its photonic chip foundry in Tempe, Arizona, a strategic move intended to bolster its growth in quantum and datacom markets. Additionally, recent leadership changes were announced, with key promotions aimed at aligning management with the company's growth strategy. These measures can strengthen investor confidence and stabilize operations, potentially fostering positive sentiment among shareholders. However, there is also pressure from ongoing legal challenges. Class action lawsuits related to securities law violations could introduce volatility and uncertainty surrounding QUBT's stock price in the short term. Investors might react cautiously to news of these lawsuits, potentially affecting trading volumes and price movement. In conclusion, 
while the advancements in infrastructure and leadership can drive long-term growth and innovation at Quantum Computing Incorporated. The current legal challenges may dampen short-term investor sentiment, creating a complex landscape for QUBT's stock performance. Analyst Ratings On Monday, the 15th of April, 2024, it was reported that Ascendient assigned QUBT a buy rating with a hold recommendation. Analysts have assigned Quantum Computing Stock a general sell rating. They consider the price-to-earnings ratio as strong sell and the price-to-book ratio also as strong sell. Regarding return on investment, the analysts have rated the stock with a strong sell classification. The following signals have been identified for quantum computing. Today, the chart predominantly shows positive signals. The stock of Quantum Computing Incorporated receives buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, suggesting an optimistic outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal indicated by the relationship between these two averages, with the short-term average positioned above the long-term average. Should there be any downward corrections, support can be expected at $8.60 and $7.34. A decline below either of these levels may trigger sell signals. A buy signal emerged from a pivot bottom point on Monday, April 21, 2025, and since then, the stock has appreciated by 57.41%. Further increases are anticipated until a new peak pivot is established. Furthermore, a buy signal is also present from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, commonly known as MACD. It's worth noting that volume decreased during the last trading day, even as prices rose. This divergence between volume and price could serve as an early warning. Therefore, close monitoring of the stock is advisable. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, buy signal from 19 days ago, Bollinger, buy signal from 144 days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal from 7 days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal from 7 days ago, the relation between the short and long moving averages, buy signal from 7 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal from 13 days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal from 2 days ago, the relation between the short and long moving averages, buy signal from 51 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Let's discuss the support, risk, and stop loss for quantum computing. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $8.63 and $8.02. There's an inherent risk involved when a stock is testing a support level. If this level is breached, the stock may then decline to the next support level. In this case, Quantum Computing Inc. has support just below today's level at $8.63. If this level is broken, the next support from accumulated volume will be at $8.02 and $7.39. This stock may experience significant movement throughout the day, indicating high volatility. With a substantial prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, this stock is considered to be very high risk. Over the past day, the stock fluctuated 54.5 cents between its high and low, translating to a 6.24% change. For the last week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 8.02%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for quantum computing, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings, a negative P.E. ratio indicates that the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies can experience downturns, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P.E. ratios may signal insufficient profit and potential bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for the first quarter of 2025 is expected on the 9th of June, 2025. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at negative 5 cents. Keep an eye on these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for quantum computing. There is no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which indicates that the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this scenario, you might consider entering a position and using volume as a guide for when to exit. On the downside, 
quantum computing encounters its first support level at $8.63. If this support level holds, it could serve as a favorable entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for quantum computing from multiple analyst sources is to sell. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. On the 27th of March, 2025, Huang Yuping conducted an insider purchase of 2 million shares of common stock. On the 2nd of April, 2025, McGann William J. conducted an insider purchase of 1,080,069 shares of common stock. On the 2nd of April, 2025, McGann William J. also conducted an insider purchase of 535,000 shares of options to purchase shares of common stock. On the same day, McGann William J. conducted another insider purchase of 1 million shares of options to purchase shares of common stock. On the 26th of March, 2025, Schwartz Eric Mark conducted an insider purchase of 77,261 shares of stock options. Based on the 88 most recent insider trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of approximately 42.543. Overall, Insiders purchased a total of 61,326,271 shares and sold 3,491,445 shares in the last 88 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $8.95, reflecting a decline of 3.10%. This stock experiences very high daily fluctuations, which contributes to its elevated risk. Currently, there is a buy signal generated from a pivot bottom identified 18 days ago. Is quantum computing stock a good buy? Quantum Computing Incorporated shows several positive indicators and is currently on a strong upward trend. As the saying goes, let the trend be your friend. Therefore, we believe it is a wise choice at these present levels and we anticipate further gains in the upcoming three months. We have revised our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation, upgrading it from a buy to a strong buy candidate. After examining the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, the 16th of May, we expect quantum computing to open lower by 152 thousandths and start trading at $9.09. It is important to remember that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. We strongly recommend consulting with a financial advisor before making any decisions related to buying or selling securities. Your investment decisions should not be solely based on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day. With warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.